Okay, we got our baby Faith here. Faith's actually one year-ish older than Saki. Same thing. Between Saki and Faith shedding, it's, it's a lot of shedding. So we're going to go ahead. Do the same thing. Seven reverse. Still changing stuff at the salon, you guys. If you haven't, can't tell. I'm still making some changes. I think I've been changing the salon ever since I moved in here. I think I've probably changed it around about six times. And you, you learn to uh, change. Change is good. Doing new things, adding on some new things, growing, stuff like that. And if you own black dogs, you will understand like I do that when they go out in the hot sun here in Texas at 104 degrees, and we're not there today, it's kind of chilly, but we had some really hot days the other day. And yesterday a cold front blew in, but when a dog is black and they're outside, oh man, they like, their, their body just absorbs the heat and keeps it. So this is, she just, you can tell she loves it. You can just see it, they're ramping and romping outside and they feel great. Faith is actually a rescue as well. And well, both Saki and Faith came to me. I didn't go hunting them down. I just couldn't uh, imagine life without them now, but they came into my world. And I believe things are just meant to be sometimes. Sometimes you got to look at the big picture and go, wow, that just all happened on its own. It's pretty cool. But she's pretty much afraid of everything. She's afraid of her own shadow. <laughs> we went on a walk one time, one time and uh, I had my flashlight. It was kind of just as it was kind of getting dark. We just went around the block. And boy, she's running. She took the leash and ran around my legs and was trying to leave. And I pointed the flashlight over to what it was. And it was a, uh, it was a freaking newspaper. <laughs> newspaper on someone's driveway. And I was like, are you kidding me? She is just scared of everything. But I've had her now uh, since she was one and it's going on nine years. So, she's come a long way from the day she showed up. It was at an event that I was doing nail trimming at and I knew the, the lady at Lucy's Lost Loved Ones, it's a rescue group out here in Texas, so one of them. I know the lady who would come out and get vaccinations on all the dogs she picked up, rescued, or found on the street. And so she was really adamant about their vaccinations. And she came up, it was like a real cold winter day. And Faith just, she just would not leave me alone. She just kept coming back and laying on my body, laying on my foot. And I said, no, 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 I got three or four dogs at home right now. He was like, I can't do it, man. I got three seniors, it was. And Faith was like, one, two seniors, and Faith was one, I think. She came to me the day, one year, 
one year after Duke passed away and she was one and I thought oh goodness this is something else right here Kennel training her was kind of hard at first, but she had to go through some uh, pinting of it, but she did really well. She, if you say the word kennel now, she does go in it. She feels safe. She feels happy. And that's what you want. You want a dog to know where they can feel safe and happy. And it's not, um, she doesn't get in trouble and go in the kennel. She gets uh, to eat in the kennel and hang out in the kennel and sleeps in the kennel. She feels real safe in there now. She didn't feel like that when she first started it, but... After about two weeks of kennel training, she's, she's got it now. She, you know, she had it. It took a, I didn't give up on her, and she had to go through some serious discipline, but she will actually book it, too. She'll, she's out of there. She doesn't like something, she's out of there. She'll leave. So you want to be able to say, you want to have your trigger words, like just to tell your dog what to do. If there's a fire and I say the word kennel, she's going to get in her kennel, and I know I can grab that kennel and run. If I, if I say the word kennel and because she's pooped everywhere on accident, she will get in the kennel so I can clean it up. So you want to have a word and a, look at her face. You want to be, look at your, is this put puffy right here? <laughs> Let me fix it for you. Fold that lip down. Oh, Faith. You just want to be able to say, get in the kennel and they get in there and you can, you know, do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Ah, David's bathing Saki, so. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Mommy just loves you. Yeah, Mommy just loves you. You are looking good down there. Just love to kiss him right here in the forehead. Hey, baby. Hey, baby girl. She wasn't feeling good this morning. You weren't feeling good this morning, were you? Was it the rain and the storm come in? Mm -hmm. I just love you. Yeah? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. No more shedding for a little while, huh? Mm -hmm. I just love you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You kiss my nose? You kiss my nose? You kiss my nose? You kiss my nose? You're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. I just love you. Love you. Okay, so see you in a few. You ready to go? You ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Hmm? You are your tail. Be happy. Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> you are. You wagging your tail? Are you wagging your tail? You wagging your tail? <laughs> you're still, you're come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't know. I don't know. It's your turn to get a bath after, huh? Get a bath after? Huh? What? David's gonna help hold and do your nails real fast. He's gonna hold your head, okay? What are you saying, man? What are you saying, huh? Huh? You got something to say? Huh? Huh? shivering. What are you shivering for? Meal trim time. Meal trim. Oh, careful. Careful. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the same hold. Yep, he's going to hold that. That's perfect. <laughs> Shh. Oh, she knows something's going on. Look at her eyeballs. Her eyeballs popping out? Are your eyeballs? Look at her eyeballs. <laughs> what are your eyeball popping out for, man? You're okay here. Let me see. There you go. Let me see. Let me see. There's not much because we just did them. No, stop, baby. You're okay. Don't stop, don't 
all the time. You never get mad. Come on. Come on. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay, Faith. You're okay. Just a little. Just a little. Little. Little by little. Little by little. You're okay. There's not much to take. Let me see. Let me see. Little by little. Little by... You take a breath, girl. No, no, that's enough. That's enough. Good too. Little bit here, just a little, little. Can't there. get the angle. Okay, all done. All done. Say so thanks for watching. <laughs> I see you. You're okay. You did fine. Say you bye. did fine. Say bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Some shave downs to eliminate some shedding. <laughs> All right. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, see y'all later. Thanks. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching Saki and Faith on a seven reverse shave down on both of them and watching the different hold, the hold that I would like a, someone that's helping you or the pet parent, the strong hold, don't keep letting go. Don't keep let, re, letting go of the dog. If you have a good jaw hold, they won't even be able to bite you because you, they can't even move. If you let go, yeah, they're going to get a boom, boom, boom right there in your fingers and stuff. Not that they would, but that's just the idea. I want you to understand that hold because in case I send you to this video to watch the hold, then this is the hold you need to do, but you need to hold and don't let go. Especially if you get the hold and the dog is fine, but the dog gets aggressive during the nail trim, then what might happen is that you can't get that hold back because now the dog's like, arr, 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 you know, not wanting to let you get back into that hold. So you pick up the dog and you get that nice hold in there. Don't let go because then whoever can do the work can just go faster. If someone's like whipping back to bite, whipping back to bite, then it takes 20 minutes to do a nail trim that could take like three minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, if you don't know how to do nail trims, please watch out for my nail video. It's going to be on DVD. It's not out yet. It's a lot of work, but it will be out there. Uh, you can just watch YouTube because there's so many people that want it. And once it, once I put it out there, you guys will know, just get, subscribe and get our video reminders that they've come out and it'll say we got to tell you about the nail trim okay um we're working on it and what else do i want to tell you just some great things happening we are re rearranging our store a bit so we're going to do that walkthrough here really soon and i just want to say thank you all for watching um, those of you that don't even own a pet thank you for uh, letting me be a part of your world thank you for being here and sharing mine uh, it's pretty intense. It's pretty fun to watch uh, different aspects of it. And I'm always giving out new tips if you are a groomer. But if you don't have a dog, you have a cat, uh, please uh, shop with us. We have some really cool cat stuff. And we're coming up adding more daily because we're everything in the store is not everything online. So unfortunately, it's a lot of work to get everything into an online store. Who knew that this was going to be so important for people to learn and watch and then support us by shopping for their babies. If you don't have a pet at all, I kind of wonder what you do. So you kind of use my videos as like, ah, someone else is doing way more stressful stuff than I am at work, right? Kind of wonder what you guys do. So um, in this video, comment below uh, whatever you want to comment, and but definitely say, hey, Dee Dee, I'm a doctor. Hey, Dee Dee, I'm a lawyer. Hey, Dee Dee, I uh, work at Starbucks. Hey, Dee Dee, you know, tell me what you do. And I, I would, I'm curious, like, what do we all do, right? Uh, I share my world with you, and when I get to, uh, skim through the comments and kind of throw my two cents out there, which is rare. David helps me with that, but man, we are like 20,000 comments behind at this point. We just can't catch up. But if you have something serious that you want to email me about, um, email it. Don't comment it. If you have a question, if you want a product, email me. Um, that's faster for me to go, here it is, here it is, here it is, you know, instead of two weeks later, I actually see that on my YouTube. Um, I do check them, but it's just going to take a lot longer to get onto that YouTube channel. Uh, the comments anyway so I really care about what you think care about what you say care about what your needs are and no matter where you are at worldwide I will reach out I will help you okay so I know that you guys that have helped you know that you get it so you can comment down here too like Didi help me with this bed bug situation Didi help me with this you know like so just comment below but those of you that again don't have an animal tell me what you do I'm kind of just curious and if you don't really want to, because your name is on your profile, just say, hey, Didi, I don't really put, want to put it out there, but just know I work in the medical field or I work in the animal field. That would be kind of cool. I just want to kind of see where that's at. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you later.